Hey everyone, Tim Streifler here again with Divi Life, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to set up a timed delay automatic trigger in Divi Overlays. And so essentially what that does is it allows you to have your trigger, I'm sorry, have your overlay automatically trigger on a specified time delay. And so uh, this is part of Divi Overlays 2.0, the new suite of automatic triggers. This was a highly requested feature when we first launched Divi Overlays, and so I'm excited to get to show you uh, how to set up a time delay trigger in Divi Overlays, and it's actually really easy to do as well. So uh, note, I'm gonna be going through the um, uh, documentation, so this is, uh, if you need to refer back to this, this is where the video will be as well. Uh, and so you can get to this by going to divilife.com in the footer, clicking on product documentation. It's also in the header here, product docs, uh, click on Divi overlays, and then finding the post for time delay automatic trigger. And so this just a, a few steps here. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you now. So uh, the first thing you need to do is navigate to the overlay edit screen for the Divi overlay that you want to trigger with the time delay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down until you see the box for automatic triggers. And then what you're going to do is select time delay. Now if you leave this blank, it's simply going to trigger the overlay as soon as the page loads, as you would expect. I'm going to go ahead and put five seconds here. And then uh, you have a couple of options. You can have it display on all pages automatically. So if this is just kind of like a, a, a site-wide uh, opt-in type of uh, overlay, then you could do that. Or if you only want it on specific pages, you can click specific pages and you can uh, select it from the list. Or if you have a website with a lot of posts, you can start typing, garage layout, boom. You can add more, start typing again, select more. I'm gonna go ahead and just do it on the, the one page there. And then um, a couple of other options that you have here. Uh, you see these check boxes, they are automatically checked by default for disable on mobile, as well as display once per page load. And so um, the display once per page load is, is more relevant on uh, scroll percentage and exit intent because um, time delay uh, typically, it, or yeah, I don't think time delay is going to be triggering more than once per page load, regardless if you have that checked. Um, but it's checked by default anyways, because you don't want to overwhelm the user with a bunch of pop-ups that, that keep triggering um, all the time. And so, um, and then dis in terms of disable on mobile, uh, the purpose of, of that is recently, earlier this year, Google announced that they're going to start penalizing websites that have disruptive pop-ups or interstitials that uh, interrupt the user's um, experience on mobile devices specifically. So it doesn't, doesn't affect desktop at all whatsoever. It only applies to mobile. And so that's why by default, the automatic triggers are disabled on mobile. You can of course turn that off and it will start showing on mobile. Um, and so, but yeah, we recommend just leaving that checked just so you're not even at risk of getting any type of penalty uh, from Google. So I'm gonna go ahead and click update. Now I'm gonna go to the front of the website here and just refresh the page. One, two, three, four, five. And there it is. So that is how you trigger an overlay automatically with a time delay uh, so very simple, very easy to do. Uh, and again, to emphasize, uh, or I'm sorry, to reiterate, if you want to trigger it as soon as the website loads, just leave that blank. And you can see here, when I go back to the front of the site and refresh the page, it's gonna trigger it automatically as soon as the page loads. So that's it for, for this tutorial. Uh, take a look at the additional tutorials on the different triggers, as well as the other features of Divi Overlays. And as always, if you have any questions at all, feel free to open up a support ticket on divilife.com. All right, thanks, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.